Hey everyone. So today we're back with a new tutorial and this is just sort of a tip and trick for color correcting in Adobe Premiere. Now, a lot of people use various techniques and effects for color correcting, but this is just uh, a trick that I've been using and it's been allowing me to really dial in some uh, various color temperatures, various effects, and just uh, color correct in a uh, nice looking and quick manner. Uh, so let me let me show you what I do and you can uh, attempt to adjust to this technique if you like it. So I just have a uh, quick little time lapse shot here of the Charles River in Boston. And if you go ahead to your effects and you go to the Lumetri presets, you jump into speed looks, universal, and you use the SL Clean Punch HDR. Now you just drag this in. So it's going to do an initial correct uh, just based on the effect itself, but there's a lot of fine tuning you can do here. So I'm going to sort of walk you through the various steps that I would take and you can uh, again adjust from there. So check this out. In basic correction, you've got uh, a ton of options. So your white balance, you can actually do some pretty cool corrections here. So first, we'll look. We can make some adjustments to really warm it up, or we can make it nice and cool. Um, so in this shot, I'll make it a little cooler, and then in your tint, it's going to be more, so your temperature's going to be more your blues and oranges, and your tint's going to be more that magenta green fine-tuning. So this shot looks a little green to me, so I want to make it just a little more magenta color. Uh, nice. So we'll go with that for now. Then you've got your tones. You've got a series of things here. You've got your exposure, and this is a great way to sort of bump up your shot. Uh, it's very incremental, so just you know, go slowly on that. You've got your contrast. You can build in some great contrast into your looks. Your shadows, you can see the trees down in the bottom right. We can really brighten those up a little bit. Uh, and you can do really a lot of, a lot of nice corrections with this. Um, so we'll move on down a little. Then you've got your creative tools. Uh, so here you've got sort of your vibrance. You can pop that up. Your saturation you can bring up if you really want to saturate your image. Uh, you can, I mean, you don't want to go that far necessarily, but you could if you wanted to. It's nice touch there. You can sharpen the image. You can do a lot of various things with the creative. So have fun playing with that. Uh, you've also got curves here, so you can do some uh, various adjustments here on the overall look, on the uh, red, green, or blue as well. So I'll just uh, nix out of that real quick. And finally, you've got color wheels, so you can do some adjustments at your highlights, your mids and your, uh, your darks there. So you can make some nice adjustments here. If you wanna you know, make your sky a little more blue, you wanna make your trees a little more red, you can do some very nice touches there. And then finally is your vignette tool. And this is great because there's not a plugin for vignettes in Premiere, so this is a great way to be able to do this. Now, you've got a couple dif different options over here, but with the amount, if you go to the right, you're going to get a white vignette, and you go to the left, you'll get a dark vignette. So, you know, you, d you can go to whatever amount you want, but it gives you just that nice touch. So let's just look at the effect before. So it's very, you know, washed out and after. And it really makes your colors pop. It makes everything look a lot nicer. So definitely try this out, guys. It's in the Lumetri presets, and it's the SL Clean Punch HDR. And I recommend playing through and trying a bunch of the other presets. They're very strong. But I've found this color correction tip to be great. Uh, it's, it's a lot stronger than the three-way color correct, the simple color correct. It has a lot more features, and the vignette tool is a great touch. So uh, thanks for checking it out, guys, and we'll be back soon. Have a good one.